first pastel donato of the trip. You don't often drive, do you, Amanda? Drive the van. <laughs> we are in Spain, yes. but you never guess that. Um, yeah. It's what day is it? I've got it. Tuesday. It's Tuesday, so we arrived Sunday evening after an what eleven hour journey? Five hundred forty miles. Five hundred forty uh, miles. Five hundred forty miles and about eleven hours and only one euro forty in tolls, and that's because we came off wherever we were and went to an Audi. Anyway, yeah. yesterday we spent the day with friends mm -hmm. yeah. who showed us around um where they moved to last year so big hi to rob and paula hello yeah. well, thank you for your hospitality <laughs> so we went out for a meal didn't we yes we did on the nice. puerto de mazaron going out again tonight huh? we are going out again yeah. tonight um this morning mark's been out for a cycle with rob yeah we did um 42 miles yeah yeah so okay, and he hammered me <laughs> to be fair because i'm a bit obese and he's uh, like a stick um, <sighs> <laughs> so now it's my turn to go out for a little bike ride so we're just gonna literally go down to the um, port just go for a little bimble over to maybe bull in the um have a quick drink a little and snack then come maybe back yeah because not really had lunch yet helado helado ice cream mm, yes mm, maybe ice cream <laughs> And then we'll come back and get ready because we're going back out with them yeah, this Rob, evening. Rob's going to come pick us up again in the car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so we'll video that um, bike ride and along the port because it's really pretty. Yeah, it's nice there. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And also I've done a little sight um, tour this morning. Anyway, so, yeah, so we'll catch you guys in a minute. Yeah, take See care. See you, bye. Bye. So, as you can see, this is a gated site. So it's all secure. And you have to have like a little card to let you in, even on the um, passenger footpath gate over here. So you need to have the card. So that's really good, that's nice and secure. And you can't drive around between 11 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the morning. So reception is up this way. It's so clean and tidy here. Little terrace area there. This is the tariff. We're currently in winter, so it's 12 euros for two people. And the electrics, so we've got electric hookup, is 60 cents a kilowatt hour. If you want to shower here, it's a euro for six minutes. It looks like the prices are going up from October. This is a little patong area. If anybody knows how to play patong? So this building here is where they've got a coffee shop, cafe, um, the laundry facilities and the showers, I'll show you that in a minute, but you've also got this little outside bar area. We sat here the other day, Friday when we got here and had pizza, and we've got a pool. How lovely is that? I don't know how warm it is. <laughs> Ooh, not that bad actually. Yeah, so they do pizzas and other bits and pieces in here. This is the laundry. There's 
Those are the showers and the toilets. So you got a big shower. And what you do is you put your euro in there and then you've got six minutes. This is where you do your grey waste. But you can only do it between eight o'clock and two o'clock. Right. But you can do six motorhomes at a time. Oh look, there's a little, I was gonna say play area, but I don't think it's a play area. It's like one of those little gyms. There are some huge, huge motorhomes here. They're absolutely dwarf indie. <laughs> and some more little toilets, washing up area, black waste here. We think these are like storage areas for over winter. pictures are separated by palm trees and they've got some really big pictures we've just gone past and they their maximum length for motorhome is 15 meters that's like a coach that's huge and now Indy is up this little row and we're on pitch 203 There she is. blew my socks off. No, so we're going to go to a different one tonight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is part of the port. Beautiful. It'll be breezy today, but otherwise it's like 20 degrees. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we're going to head that way. Yes. And see what's down there. Explore. And then we're going to come back and go back over that way. On this palace. Look at the beach. Yeah. Beach, beach, playa. We had a coffee, cold drink in yeah. that cafe just behind you yesterday as well. Yeah. Facing out to the marina. Yeah. It's very nice. Look at this beach. It goes on for miles. Well, it seems like it does. Yeah. With the lovely mountains in the background. And they look after their beaches, don't they? They, they, they kind of brush them. So, yeah. They brush them every day. Yeah. Oh. Okay.
I'm just going over here to look at a map that has cycle routes on it. On the way though, six kilometres. These heavily eroded sandstone formations, known as the Ciudad Encantada Enchanted City, were shaped and sculpted by water and wind over thousands of years and are considered a monument of natural interest. The Ciudad Encantada is formed by clay and consists of microfossils that date back about four and a half million years. These mushroom-shaped rocks of this enchanted city will always be changing due to their exposure to the wind. They're definitely worth a visit. This is where the big swing is. You are pathetic. I filmed you. You're on film. All right. Yes. We've just come off the road at Bonuevo and we're just going to cycle on the Camino Cortada just for about five minutes, aren't we? No cars or bikes allowed. But down there is a the nudist beach. So I'm going to try and concentrate. <laughs> but if I happen to fall off, it's because of good reason. <laughs> so they recommend you don't ride on here when it's windy and stormy. Okay. With landslides. Oh, okay. Right, look at it, it's up there, look. Yeah, yeah. Don't take much. You have to come down. for a little snack, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Deserve it, man. Deserve it. It's four o'clock and we're a bit hungry. Yeah, starving. Starving. So that's our view. Starving. What, darling? We're not at the needed No. No cafes. Oh, look, there we go. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, I have 
Gracias. Thank you. Mm, yum, yum. Oh, folks. So we found a nice little cycle route. It's on the coast. It's like a path. Follows the coastline. It's Euro Velo 8 on the Mediterranean route. Now we came in to Puerto de Mazaron. We went up here a little bit just to explore. And then we came all the way along here to Bolo Nuevo and we picked up a little bit of a coastal road here. And we came back to Bolo Nuevo, had some tapas. And now we're going to head back to this road here. Take that road back into Mazaron and back to the campsite. There we are. On the boardwalk! <laughs> Condition your hair and have a shower in less than six minutes. Yeah. I didn't even know I could do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, and if I moved myself a bit quicker, I could have been all inside your, your six minutes as well. What? I could have, I might not have needed to put another six oh, minutes. Oh, it ran out pretty much after you got in. Yeah, I didn't concentrate. Twelve minutes for two showers. Two oh. euros. Bad. Bargain. <laughs> and there's a huge bathroom. Just left the campsite. It's over there. We just paid up, so it's cost um, 12 euros a night, and our electricity was 10 kilowatts. So that's an extra two. Six euros. Well, yeah. Extra six euros. So yeah, yeah we, so we only used it for the fridge and a few lights at night, and a charging. I recently charged up something. Yeah. yeah. So it worked out 14 euros a night, which isn't too bad, is it? No, it's really. a very very nice site highly recommend yeah, absolutely. coming here it's a little bit out of the way so you would need bikes or a little car or a moped or whatever about, i think three three miles perhaps from the um from the port puerto de yeah. mazon yes i think there is like a little supermarket just up the road and stuff but we've literally just been yeah. shown around by <laughs> our friends and but stuff they've, they've got a little shop with basic supplies here and they do hot food they've got like a restaurant and they've got a bar and everything oh yeah in the camp so the you don't you, camp. you could stay and not want for much to be fair mm. 
Um, it's really quiet, isn't it? Yeah, really, really quiet. Very quiet. We didn't hear and any road noise or anything. There's there's about six enough enough space for six eight servicing vehicles. You know, for joining the grey waste. Yeah, because I showed that. The least. black waste is about eight black waste deposits, uh, and it's so well organised. Yeah, it's all freshly tarmacked. It's two hundred and seventy two pitches. I think I worked out. Very efficient. Yeah. Very efficient. And it's so. nice down by the port's really nice. And the pool's stuff. lovely. It's a lovely pool. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And it's like got artificial grass around the place, make it look pretty, you know, and tables and it's just it's really smart. So really well, you know, recommend yeah. cycling. And when we was out cycling yesterday we went past the campsite at Bull Nuevo and also there was another air further up the road and actually we didn't like the look of either of those, did we? So no. I think no. we did quite no. well choosing this one. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. well recommend it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll put the three little words at the bottom. We for will. You to see. We will do that. And now we are heading on to our next destination via, um, I can never say it right, Hoqual Avera um, to see Mark's auntie. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then we will be going to Granada, Yay. which we're very excited about for a few days. So, anyway, we hope you like this little video. Give us a like. Subscribe if you've not already subscribed. Leave a comment if you want any information. And we will see you next time. I ring the bell. Ding -a -ding -a -ding. Ding -a -ding. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next time. Take see care. Ya. See you Bye. soon. Bye.